Hey guys and welcome back. Um, this is Russell and today I'm going to show you how to pull the codes that are stored in your computer on your OBD1 equipped vehicle. Now this pretty much is from 1985 to 1994-95-ish depending on the vehicle. Pretty much in 1996 and later they're all OBD2 up till uh, today, which is 2024. So the connector on the OBD1 is completely different. If you have a reader for OBD2, it generally will not work with OBD1. Now I do not have a reader for the OBD1, but I do have a um, little trick that we're gonna use a paperclip. And then we're going to <clears throat> look on the dash for a series of flashing lights to determine what the code is on this vehicle. This happens to be a 1989 Chevy K1500 and it has the um, 5.7 liter Chevy engine. And I apologize for the way the lighting is. Um, it's kind of dark, I'm in the garage, but I've got, I do have a light on. So I'm gonna zoom in here as best I can. I want it to be clear. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take just a standard paper clip, all right? And there's a top and a bottom row of holes or ports. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're sitting in the, in, in the seat of the vehicle, the two holes on the top right, there's a little uh, A and a B, which you're not gonna be able to see on the camera, but you can usually see it, but it's the top two right holes. I'm gonna take the paper clip and I'm going to insert it into those two ports like that. All right, so all I'm doing is jumping the A and the B port. Let me get another angle. Okay, that's all I've done. Make sure that it is making contact with the little pins in there, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the dash and I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do before I do it so you can uh, see what's happening. I will turn the key, the ignition on, but I'm not gonna start the vehicle. The service engine light is gonna come on and it's gonna flash a code one, two. All right, it'll flash one and there'll be a pause and then it'll flash one, two. And it's gonna do that three times. That just lets you know that it's in diagnostic mode. After that, it is going to go through the series of codes that are stored in the computer and they're gonna be two digit codes. So it will do that, it will flash the code just like it did the one, two, it'll do that for a series of three times and it'll go to the next code and the next code and the next code. Once it's presented all the codes, it will go back to the one and then one, two, which is 12, okay? So we're gonna turn, all right, so it'll flash once. One, one, two, okay. One, one, two. Okay, just gonna do it one more time. One, one, two. Okay, now here comes the first code. One, two, one, two, it's 22. One, two, one, two, okay. One more time. One, two, one, two. All right, if there's another code, it will come up next. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, that's 43. I'll do that two more times. Three, four. And then it's going to have one, two, three. Okay, now if there's no more codes, it'll flash a one, two, one. One, two. Okay, and it'll do that three times. All right, so that means that it's got all the codes out. So there's a code 22 and a code 43. So what we need to do is we need to go on the internet and find out what code 22 and 43 is on an OBD1 system. All right, so I just went into Google and typed in OBD1 codes 
for GM vehicles, and this is what I got. So you can see that a code 22 is a throttle position sensor circuit low, signal voltage low, and then code 43 is knock sensor error. Okay, so the two codes stored on this vehicle happen to be those two right there. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video because the vehicle is actually uh, not able to start. I'll do a completely separate video, but this video is just going to uh, go through how to get the codes, and then there's not a lot of codes that it, that it can be. Um, but anyway, that's, that's what you do. So if there are readers that will do OBD1, but there's no sense in spending money when you can just do this um, paperclip trick and be able to get the codes yourself. To clear the codes, um, we'll just disconnect the battery for like, uh, well, it says here 20 seconds. I usually like to disconnect them for about 60 seconds and then hook it back up. So I hope that helps. Um, some of these older cars, the, unfortunately, a lot of mechanics, if they're you know newer and they're not familiar with these older cars, don't know, uh, or, well, they should know, but they may not. But anyway, you can uh, do this yourself. All it takes is a paperclip and an internet connection to find out what the codes are, and you can do it yourself. So, all right, guys, with that being said, I will talk to you on the next video.